Hi guys! Today I'm going to share a breakfast recipe with you guys. I grew up eating this dish a lot. It's called a Parsi omelette. And Parsis are basically people of Persian descent living in India. Now, my mom used to make this a lot when I was growing up and I had no idea that it was called a Parsi omelette until I read it in this book by Dishroom. And uh, if you guys have never heard of Dishroom, it is a very popular Indian restaurant in London. They make fantastic Indian food, some of the best I've had outside of India. So I will be sharing two ways to prepare this omelette. First, I will show you the recipe by Dishroom in their cookbook. And then I will show you how I have been doing it all my life. So let's get started. For Dishroom's omelette, we're going to chop up half a green chili plus finely chopping up some red onions and some cilantro. We're also going to deseed our tomatoes and finely chop them up as well. In a small bowl, break in your eggs, add some salt and some freshly ground black pepper, add the chilies and mix it up. Now add in the onions, tomatoes and cilantro and give it a good stir. Then let's head on over to the stove. I'm using a cast iron because the recipe calls for the pan to be put under the grill, which I assume is the broiler in America. So swirl the oil around the pan over high heat, then add in your egg mixture and shake it up so that it covers the pan. Let it sit for 20 seconds and then we're going to place it under the broiler for 1.5 to 2 minutes. After you take it out of the broiler, you can roll it up and serve it. Let's move on to how I prepare my Parsi omelette. We're going to thinly slice the onions and tomatoes. This time to our eggs, we're only going to season it with some salt and pepper and then only add the cilantro. We're going to saute the onion and tomatoes instead, so add them to the pan over medium-high heat. Add the chilies and add a little bit of salt and then saute till the onions start to brown, about 3-5 to five minutes. Pour in the eggs and shake the pan so it covers the surface. Now I like going in with my chopsticks and kind of swish things around to create a fluffier texture in the eggs. After about a minute, when the bottom of the eggs are starting to set, cover the pan with a lid and then let the steam partially cook the top side. After about a minute, you can remove the lid and if you want your eggs to be firmer, you can just leave the lid on for longer. Serve this omelette with some toast and some chai and breakfast is ready! Bon appetit! This looks amazing! <laughs> So this is actually my first time trying the um, the Shum's Parsi omelette. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. That's the rolled up one, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know I gotta get a bite, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little different from mine because I actually cook my vegetables, but the one in their omelette, the vegetables still taste raw. Can I get a bite? Yeah. Is that mine? Yeah. Mmm. Mm. That's good. I like it. Cheers. 
so refreshing. I like both of them. Can I get the rest of that one? Mm -hmm. No. 